last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. <clears throat> she had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. And the one who attacked first was... Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. Like, smug, Kirigiri look. Like, like, she wasn't all, Kirigiri is like, she wasn't all that. No. And now, back to trying to ditch school. If you just do it, it'll turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's been Billy 1998 here again, and I'm back for more Trigger Happy Havoc, Dog Naropa 1. Last time we did the trial, and we found out, this time we found out that that Mizono tried to frame me. What the fuck, Mizono? Now oh, we gotta figure out who killed her. <sighs> As I said before, I did this. I did this. I did this trailer a few days ago, and I failed miserably at recording and stuff. So not my first time seeing this, but this time, hopefully, you're gonna see how bad. I feel like I'm gonna do better. If I do better, I might see how. I put the blo in a blooper reel how, how bad I did before, but if not, I don't know. But you'll see how bad I did. <laughs> like, that'll do any good better than I did before. R rhythm, rhythm time in my game sucks. But I have to get through it to take... Like, I can, like... Not like I can, like, um... Uh... Change the... Change the mode. Or can I? Do I have to? Uh, nope. Hey, nope. It's, it's this or nothing. Oh. Oh, so, so. Is it really all over? Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her. What can I do? Uh, huh. Oh, there it is. I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? Very well. Then let's review all the clues we've found up to this point one more time. Do we really have time for all that? D die! Die! If we don't do something, we're all gonna die! <laughs> what else? No, wait, no, hold on. That's right, there is still clue left. It's the who killed her. My Jonah left it behind. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? No, it's wrong. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. She wrote it. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? Uh -oh. The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. There well, oh, before it. we get too far into that, I need uh. to ask... Oopsie. There's big clue the killer written there. I, I spit it out too fast. 
Can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? There's no questions here. She wrote that message, and I can prove it. Her finger. Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? Mm -hmm. One. Hey, Chihiro. Oh, You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. But hit too fast. N no, that's not. Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course, it's because they're not numbers. They're not. Oh, yeah. It looks like. Yes. What is it? Huh? What? What? No, it's just. Uh, look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was one one, but looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Yes! Whoa! You might have finally just said something worth a shit. Hey. <laughs> I little gray cells are really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Kirigiri's Kirigiri smiling again. Damn it, it's no use. I just don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Huh? Rotate it. What you talking about, Kiri Gary? I I think maybe maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Do, do, do. Huh? You just shot past the clue card and right onto who did it. So whose name did she write? Zone's dying message reveals the killer's name. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. L E O N, or more accurately, Leon. It was you. What the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. <laughs> no, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down, as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. D that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. Toko, bit slap him. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? 
You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? Yep. I knew it was. Crash duty. Innovator. Short, short piece. I got it. You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? Yep. As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on that. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Yep. Isn't that right, Leon? What? 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 But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean... Leon's not the only one wearing a white button. Up. That, nope. That's right. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. Oh boy. Burnt, the burnt remains of the button-up shirt which the killer was able to get rid of. Yeah, but what about the way we need to pay attention to the order to figure out who was responsible? How it was disposed of. I got it! If we look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You do? You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? Maybe. And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. You need the key to get in, and the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. You're right. He was the he did have the key. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's wrong. There's another way to use the scenario about one. But being the one on clean duty. That is exactly what proof that Leon is a real killer. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. Which means the only possible suspect is whoever had the trash room key. Okay, yep, yep, yep. so the person who would have had the trash room key was... Huh? Me? Yep, you. You're gross. It's possible that you have the trash room key? I'm sure there's another way. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator. No, that's wrong. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. Yep. Because I'm a genius. But if you can't get past the gate, 
You couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but uh... But man, I'm a I'm an idiot. I paid it for fortune for a for a fake. Oh, well, that's gonna have to me again. I'm, man, I'm pretty sure. But how would you use it? Divine with it. He's a seeker too. No. I got it. The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Huh? Put the, um, turn the incinerator on? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Break up, Hurts! Fumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? Sure, take. The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? Could they? That's a good question. That, that's right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... The killer is... The killer is... Because he's the ultimate baseball star. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I... I... We're very serious. I'm not the killer! These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! You still won't admit it? Okay, then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Forever. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon, but all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. It's story time! But like, again, let's hear, about, hear more? Sure. For people that don't never play the game before, every case has one last element to bring the case to a close. This is a closing argument. Yeah, I wish it was an ending. Now this phrase, you give a complete summary of the case. We produce the flow of events for the case Form of a comic book! Never you notice that no every piece is missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. If you take aim with missing sections and press the X, they call you a hint that might lead to the breakthrough. Good luck and have fun!
Okay, the... Unfortunately, the shirt got left behind. Here's exactly what happened. Right, right, we got right. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Oh, damn it. The killer is... you! During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. I messed up. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her. But of course, the killer had no way of knowing. Damn it! Did again. Well, I messed that one up. Here's exactly what happened. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. 
So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remained, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. Okay. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator. Which then quickly roared to life. Luke. destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. They're not who they thought they were. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Ew. Leon. Complete. It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Here it comes. Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit! It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it! Shit. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. I am? I have the evidence? Okay, look at mm -hmm. this again. First full time battle about to begin. Will I hear more? Yes, because I was gonna suck at this. Not during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. And <laughs> that happens here at the gate to them in head to head battle. They have 10 hearts and I have 5 hearts and stars. So, yay! Oh, God. 
Oh god, that would be fun. If I could refer, refer, like refer to this as the Bullet Time Battle, aka the BTM BTW. Bullet Time win? <laughs> during the during the BTB, you, you want to destroy your opponent's statements with, in time with the rhythm. At your button presses with each temple marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Just expand the lock onto the opponent's statement. For the statement you locked onto with the temple marker is Race to the center. Okay. Let me extend triangle then. Did I touch it? Wait, is it wrong? You still have to deal damage to your opponent if you can't pull, pull off the one in pain. Effectively, you start combo. Keep going. You tear a temple up. So you keep missing, you'll get a temple down situation. Temple changes so does the timing for each button. Each for hitting button. So you want to watch out for that. Deal enough damage to your opponent and a weak spot statement will appear. Opponent, you can press the triangle button to shoot down the truth bolt, like any other statement. First statement, fast enough, you come out victorious. Okay, so you're really gonna fail. Look, have fun! Yeah, yeah, fun. When sure, the fun. broke the bathroom doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. One more time. Nope. So what did the killer use? The killer used to take the doorknob. I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, they turned that... Well, they... They... They, they toned that one down from the fan trick place in the... To be played. Stupid, 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 stupid! Some two evidence of the killer. And figure it out. Right. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. There you go. Shit. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! You lie! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! Damn it! Hey. What? Too bad. Is this really the end for all of us? Yes. yes. I refuse to give up yet. Can I just now? Yeah, yeah, uh, nope. When the killer broke the bathroom doorknob, they didn't. So what did the killer do? Right. I refuse to acknowledge you. There we go, again. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Damn it. Well, again. Ah. <sighs> uh.
You better. I got better. I think I got. I think I got one heart at least. Is is this really the end for all of us? Yes. I refuse to give up yet. When the killer broke the bathroom door, not so what did the killer? I refuse to acknowledge you. Okay, try it. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. Oh. 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 Uh. Okay, 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 the guy, the guy, just, yeah, no. Okay, I think I guess the... Okay, I think I figured it out now. Is... is this really the end for all of us? Yeah. I refuse to give up yet! I figure it. I can't figure it out. When the killer broke the bathroom door, I'm stupid, stupid. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lost. Damn it. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lost. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Damn it. <sighs> Hit right, but Really? 
really the end for all of us? There's I again. To give oh. up yet. Blah, 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 blah. No, oh, damn it. When the killer broke the bathroom door, I'm stupid, stupid, stupid. Again. your proof you kidding me not a chance it wasn't me stupid D-Rod shut up where's your proof you kidding me not a chance you lied where's your proof you kidding me not a chance it wasn't me stupid Shut up! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Now they're God. When the killer broke the bathroom door, so what did the killer use? I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid, stupid, stupid. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lied. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Ah. What? Shut up! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Strip! Okay. This will be the next episode, but... <laughs> oh god... I hate this game. So it's up right now. I hate rhythm games so fucking much. <sighs> Day before I saw I could do this probably be a short episode probably. But I wanted to Nope, apparently not. Fucked it, whatever. I'll do this. So I'll never stop learning. I'll join around on this. Maybe next time is I'll figure it out. Or someone come here. God damn, I can't do that anymore. I can't do that because I can't even. I can't even like have someone do this for me for this fucking quarantine. It's like I have to power through this somehow next time. Uh... <coughs> <coughs> Yes, yes it is. You're all fucking dead. No. <sighs> Never stop learning. And enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye. Fucking rhythm games.